Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Chiptegui from Uganda, the two-time world champion over the 10,000 meters. Um, the first uh, uh, start of the line, I was really, you know, looking forward to um, uh, defend the title and obviously uh, there was a little bit of some doubts about it before uh, leading up to the championship. But then I knew that for me to become a, a, a double world champion, I needed to take things into my favor. I think at this point, um, I can see uh, at this point of the race, I was really planning and, um, and uh, my mind were again right back into the race and I was waiting for it. Uh, as you can see, uh, my teammate Kisa also was coming in there, and then also Jacob was a little bit also uh, mounted the situation from behind. And then uh, you can see the guys from the US also they were doing some teamwork because this is their home. And for us, we needed to, to do something special, and also they needed to do something special. So that in itself was actually um, uh, one of the most exciting races that you know everyone is contesting and uh, at this point of the uh, in my mind i was i was actually flashing back uh, at the moment that i won in doha and i said wow if i can do this again it will be a great a great achievement for me and for my country and for my teammates at this point I think you can see that everybody was trying to test the front and also trying to throw whatever they have also, but in the mind, keeping it, uh, keep it going also and also wait uh, uh, for the last moment. And you know, um, if everyone is going on and you know, everyone is trying to run at the front, everybody is trying to build up the confidence and the capacity that, and to, to, to threaten the opponents and, and be like, hey, I can also, I can also lead, I can also be in control and I also want to win. So I think this is one of the most races that that's uh, special championships where uh, you don't see everyone running hard. It's just tactics and it's about mind games, it's about uh, just surviving the race and make, making sure that uh, you are at the right step every moment as the laps keep on going as as the race is get, getting done and done you have to survive in all those other uh laps it's kind of you know it's uh normally it's it's boring in the beginning but just in the end is where, where you really have to survive well at this point uh of the race i really knew that i think i was headed for history in making for myself and also for my country and uh, <clears throat> I knew that uh, everybody was waiting for me to, to make a move and then they can also you know make a move and uh, these are one of this is one of the events that it's a uh, you have to be strong in the mind also in order for you to execute and achieve um, what you want to achieve in life, and um, sometimes you have it in, con in your control. Sometimes you don't have it. Like uh, you know, you can wake up in one of those weird days, and you are not the best again. Not because you are not the best, but because something went wrong, and you were not able to have things in your control. So at this point of the race, I knew that okay, if it comes to the last lap, I think. I was uh, in, in this field. I was actually one of the world season champ champ ch champion ch championship athlete because I remember in uh, my first championship was in uh, 2015 in Beijing, and I learned from that time. I was from I was position nine, and then from there, uh, world championship in London. I was number two behind Mofara, and then 2019 I was a. Uh, I was a world champion, so I knew that you know I had, I can still run the 20, 20, 24 laps, and then the last one, and still have, still have the the strength to kick. So for me, it was not necessary for me to run fast. It was just 
make it easy and control it and and kill it in the end. So what we are seeing now is everyone is trying to position themselves in the best place to attack and always you don't have to put your echo different uh, in a different place you have to really be focused and you need everything with your soul with you, especially with your mind and uh, res resilience and the fighting spirit you know so at that point i didn't want to be locked inside leading up to the the last lap i wanted to be sure that I'm uh, on the highway and nobody is going to control me again, box me inside and, and maybe lose some meters because I learned that painfully in, uh, during the Olympic Games in uh, 2020, 2021, of course, in uh, Tokyo, where I was boxed inside the last, tw from I think 300 meters, then also 200 meters. By the time I came, it was just 150 to go and it was, the gold was gone. So I think I paid dearly for that and uh, I didn't want to make the same mistake. That's why I, you can see I'm wide out of the stretch. Mm. That's it. That was a little fine. Yes, let's love. No Americans ever won a medal in this race. Chet to Guy, the world champion. Can he win it again? Last year, he was burnt up by Salomon. Yeah. <laughs> but the champion from Doha wow. is the champion once again. That's amazing. 53 for two. Oh. This year, it's Chet to Guy. Wow. That was spectacular. <laughs> I think this was my one of the events that I've. I think I've. Uh, it was my one of those things that I've ever run faster in the last lap. And if I'm not mistaken, I think 2017 World Championship I also did the same, but I was way back behind. So I think I need to keep keep it going. Wow, amazing. It's so inspiring, you know. Yeah, to be real, to be, you know, it's amazing. Yeah, for us, it's uh, more of a mm, when when we when we go out there and we we are we are fighting first individually and secondly for <coughs> our country colors. So, um, but to, to 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 be successful and 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 and. and and share the, the the podium with one of your countries, uh, you know, countrymen. It's really, it's it's, it's phenomenal. It's it's a, a great achievement, and um, it's never happened like like this before in our country. You know, two people sharing the podium. It's never happened. So it means that we have grown. So the sport has grown, and and uh, it's a big inspiration story for. For the young people, the young boys there at home, the young girls there who are watching and they want to pursue their dreams and also become great athletes. So this is really, if not, this is really the best inspirational achievement and story that they can, can go along all the way inspiring young people who want to achieve success.